PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Okay, so many of you have said you're not going to install Windows 7 yet. You're going to wait. You're happy with XP or you're happy with Vista or whatever. What do you think I'm using right now? I'm not using Windows 7. Okay, but I've installed a theme to make my operating system look like Windows 7. So what do you think it is? Can you guess? Well, if you can't guess, here's another hint. I'll mouse over these icons. That's right, you guessed it. It's Windows XP. So I'm using Windows XP and I went to this website and downloaded their theme and patched my system. So basically, go to askvg.com to download this Windows 7 theme. So askvg.com. From there, they've got two themes, a black one and a blue one. This is the blue one, right? That's closest to the uh, release candidate of Windows 7. It's pretty accurate. And also you need to download the uh, UX theme patcher. I'm using XP with Service Pack 2, so I downloaded that version. If you're using Service Pack 3, then you download the other version. And uh, once you download that and the theme, both of them, you have to install it, it'll extract itself into the um, C colon backslash windows backslash resources backslash themes folder. That's where you need to put this stuff, okay? It needs to go into the uh, resources slash themes folder under windows. And in there, you're going to find a theme.exe file that you need to extract. So when you double click on that, it's going to create the theme and add it so that way you can, you know, toggle back and forth and select it from the uh, regular uh, Windows uh, desktop uh, theme manager. Now, let's go into the theme manager here. And um, in the display properties, you can see the themes here that you can select. And obviously, the Windows 7 VG black and normal themes are now there for you to select because you extracted them and they um, appear automatically in there okay and you can see I'm using the blue one if I slip if I switch over to the black then and now everything's black we got the black theme going on here and also uh, just keep in mind this does not add Windows 7 features it just adds the theme the look and feel but without the additional features okay so just keep that in mind right this is just the basics just so that you can have that uh, look without installing third-party applications because this does run much better and it does give a pretty accurate theme to Vista or 7 without installing third-party programs so it runs pretty smoothly less resources and I had no problems no crashes or anything so that's why I'm recommending it okay so try it out let me know how it went again remember you need to um, extract the stuff and install it into the Windows resources themes folder and in there you'll you'll see that in those folders that you extracted this stuff in there's additional stuff that you can install like fonts that are close to Windows 7 you can iconize your taskbar so I install that hack for example because that hack will make all the tasks a square icon instead of a larger uh, task so I can fit more on the taskbar so I went ahead and selected yes after I double clicked on that and it installed it so that was pretty neat and um, and uh, like I said it doesn't use um, much memory it was quick fast and uh, it doesn't crash my system so there you go make your uh, XP look uh, like uh, 7 with this easy quick theme change I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching